For the final project in this class, students can choose what genre to compose in. Students might choose to write a paper, record a podcast, create a video, or even stage a performance like a dramatic reading or a play. Now that video did minimize visual and audio distractions, but I missed the opportunity to connect with students in it. I referred to the project in general terms, and I just used the third person referring to students as students, which kept a little bit of distance between me and my audience. For our final project, you can choose what genre to compose in. Now, you can certainly choose to write a paper. I've had several past students record podcasts and create videos. I had somebody last year write a rap, and another recent student wrote a screenplay and then recorded her family members acting it out. In the revised version, I used first and second person, words like I and you, to start to close some of the distance between me and my audience members. I also personalized the examples so that hopefully students could begin to imagine themselves in the roles I was describing. When we personalize information like that, as long as we're not adding extraneous information, we can enhance learning without adding unnecessary cognitive load.